you're here, you're probably someone who has experienced or know someone that has dealt with being nauseated a couple of days before getting their periods. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about exactly what happens in your body that makes you feel nauseous a few days before you get your period. Before we get started, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Zeba and I'm a graduate student at the University of British Columbia. This channel is dedicated to understanding our periods and talking about things that most people don't talk about. Because if we don't talk about it, we don't learn about it. If you haven't already, make sure that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me find that big bad YouTube algorithm. All right, so let's dive right into it. Our bodies produce a hormone called progesterone. And one of the jobs that progesterone has is to get our bodies ready for pregnancy. And it does so by thickening the wall of the uterus, making it nice and cozy for a fertilized egg. When we don't have a fertilized egg, the level of progesterone drops, inducing a period. There's another hormone in our body called prostaglandin. Now, depending on where in the body prostaglandins are made, it will have a different function. In some parts of the body, it can cause inflammation, pain, fever, and it's really just part of a regular healing process in our body. And in other parts of the body, for example, in the gut, it can cause muscle contractions, reduced absorption, and a lot of other things which can lead to pain, discomfort, and weird poops. Current research shows that when progesterone levels are low, uterine prostaglandin levels are high, meaning that they have an inverse relationship. However, we don't know whether these uterine prostaglandins are transported to the gut or if there is a relationship between the progesterone levels and the gut prostaglandin levels. I feel like every time I try to explain something to do with the menstrual health, I find all these huge gaps in knowledge and it really shows how much more work needs to be done to really understand how our bodies work. Anyway, what we do understand is that prostaglandins are involved in making us feel nauseated and giving us all those weird poops all those fun stuff that no one looks forward to. Let's talk about why these symptoms are usually seen a couple of days before you get your period. Here's a fun chart that I googled. And this shows how hormones in your body fluctuate with your menstrual cycle. So here you can see that as we talked about, right before you get your period, your progesterone levels are low. Let's put everything together. We know that progesterone levels are low right before you get your period. We also know that when progesterone levels are low, uterine prostaglandin levels tend to be high. And we know that prostaglandins are involved in creating a not so fun gut environment for us. Putting all of these things together, it kind of makes sense that we feel nauseated and experience weird gut vibes a couple of days before we get our periods. And sometimes it can continue on after you get your period as well. One of the things that I have come across when I was lurking on Reddit last night is that a lot of people are wondering if this is normal for their body. Now, I wish there was an easy way to quantify what normal really is in this case, but to be honest, it's very challenging. The way I like to think about it is that if these symptoms are getting in the way of your regular life, it's interrupting your daily activities, that's when things are no longer normal. This is your body trying to tell you that something is not right and it needs to be looked into. If you are experiencing these symptoms and it gets in the way of your everyday activities, that's when you should consult your doctor. Your doctor will be able to help you manage the symptoms so you can live your normal life without having to worry about your period. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have really enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye!